Hi guys! So I have another Tag Tuesday for you today and this is what we're gonna make. It's um, music paper cut and rolled back to display a little image. So whatever image you want to use. This one of course is the Christmas holiday paper dolls that's in his um, Tim Holtz new uh, Christmas 2023 pack. And this one is just a washi black and white sticker. I have a bunch of those and so I thought let's make some. And that's it. So I have my old, I always like to thrift my music books. And they're, it's just a bunch of fun. Aren't they pretty? Look at that. So these are all thrifted. I love that. Look at this one. Absolutely love this. I wonder what year this is from. This was only $2 back in the day 1959 is when this one was done and so I absolutely love it I love the color of it so I just thought that this would be fun to use so we'll be using some music paper of course you can use any paper you like and I also have this that I hauled from Michaels not too long ago and this is just the what is this a three and a half by 7.7 .7 inch um, paper like Christmas holiday paper and so we'll be using one of these and just a bunch of fun stuff. I will be using my little um, uh, hole reinforcer punch from Craftalier and then just a regular hole punch and using some blue and white twine and just um, a bunch of fun little tidbits so that we can decorate it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull out a sheet from here. Let's just do, um, I'm trying to see if there's like something like this. You see how it has like the, let's just do this one. I'm trying to get something that I could cut up and I won't feel bad about because I really like this. <laughs> Isn't that neat? So, uh, let's see. I love the images on these. They're so much fun. I just like ones that have a lot of like little music notes. All right, I guess we could do this one. Let me get out my, my cutter and then I'm just gonna cut this out instead of trying Instead of trying to rip it out, this is just a cleaner cut. There it is. So there's that. Put that off to the side. And then let's pick out one of these. So let's do something. That would be pretty, but because it has the top and bottom, I don't want that to, I don't want that to miss out. You know what? It might it might work. Let's just do this one. If we have time, we'll do one more. But these are three and a half, so I guess we can leave it at three and a half. And then we'll just cut this down to maybe five and a half. So let me measure that. Uh, let's see. We'll measure five and a half. So I'm just marking it and then so it's three and a half by five and a half. Let me just cut this little part off at the top. And then we'll trim this down. Let's do it this way. Uh, where's my line? Here it is. Then we can, oops, excuse me. I'm knocking things over over here. Then we can cut the uh, notches on the side. So let me get that out. And we'll cut the sides here. Ooh, this is gonna be a big tag. And then let's just go ahead and cut. What am I doing? We'll punch the hole. trying to get the center about there and let me just use this to punch my little hole reinforcer 
and we can glue this on here. So let me get my glue out. This is gonna be super simple, but I'm trying to keep them simple for the Tag Tuesday. Only because there's so much. I just came across more ideas that I wanna do, so it's gonna be fun. So I'm just gonna center that on here, glue that down. And then we're done with that. Then let me get my ruler so we can just cut a square. So let me just cut this down. I'm just gonna cut down a square. I'm just lining it up with the lines of the music paper. I'll just go ahead and do a bigger sheet, a bigger piece, just in case we decide to do another one. I'll have it already cut. Let's put that aside. Cut this down. Save that. Isn't that cool? I love the little edge on this paper. It's so pretty. And then I guess we can try to see if we can cut this down. Let's try to get right at the tip of those circles. And again, saving that top part. Because the coloring, the discoloring, coloring, discoloring. And then this, we can see how far we can make a big window with this one. I do kind of want to keep the sides a little bit so that I could, let me just mark it. I just, I like the sides of it, what it looks like. So let's mark it about here, right at the nine. So let me just get this kind of measured up, cut this down. And then we'll save this one, see if we have room for another one. Okay, now this, we're gonna do, this is what I did. I did a crisscross. So maybe about an eighth, a quarter of an inch from one corner to a quarter of an inch to the other corner. And then we're just doing a crisscross. So like that, we have it already I'm sure it'll probably look better if you try to rip it, but I'm not going to chance it. See, there we have it. And for me, you can use any type of like round, um, like I guess maybe like a little round toothpick. My daughter made this, but you know that you can use um, to roll it up. But I do have one of those quilling tools that we could use to round it. But we're gonna keep that just for a second. And then, let me see. I think I might wanna use one of these washi stickers. I think that would be fun. Like this one is really pretty. Oh, this one. Cause I kinda feel like it has kind of like the lighter grays and blues. So we'll use this. I'm not gonna bother to unstick the back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just glue it down this way because you're not gonna see the edges anyway, so there's really not a really good chance that that's gonna come undone. So we'll leave it. I'm gonna get out my vintage photo, and I think I am going to round the bottom corners. I've been kind of liking the rounded bottom corners of my tags. So let's do the big, the big round, the biggest one, because this is a thicker, tag so I'm gonna get yeah this lighter the vintage photo is better for this lighter paper so we'll just do this and this is double-sided and then I will go ahead and ink this as well This is gonna be super easy and super fun. Of course, it doesn't have to be holiday theme. You can make it um, 
any theme actually it doesn't have to be only because we're tis the season right so let me i'm gonna get a paper um, let me get a scratch piece because i do want to ink around it doesn't have to be super precise but i just want the edges of this and I'm going to do it on both sides so just trying to be careful that you don't rip it but I just wanted to ink both sides of the part that we're going to be twirling okay so let's close that off for now and then I'm just going to attach this See, now this has like this little slit right in the middle. See this part here? It has a slit right in the middle. And so this little quilling tool, I got this from Hobby Lobby, super inexpensive. And you just grab hold of it. And then roll it up. And then just kind of help it along with your fingers. And then what I do is I just get my glue. You don't have to, I guess you can maybe leave it like that, but I wanna make sure that mine is not gonna come undone over time. And so I will end up gluing mine down, just cleaning up that extra glue that's there giving that a second to attach. Kind of rounding it as I'm doing it. Is it good? I think it's good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do all four corners. trying to keep it flat so like that when I glue it down I probably could probably do this when I'm already ready to glue it so I'm just gonna add oops I'm telling you butterfingers today don't know what's happening but sorry about that so just keeping that down and this paper is a pretty thick paper so let's just do this. I'm gonna finish, you see? I didn't hold that down long enough. But I just like when it when it stays down because like that I know that's not gonna come unraveled. We can come back to that. So let me just keep doing this. Come on. I should have switched out my glasses this way and then you just roll it up let's kind of help this along so that it stays kind of rolled and then we'll do this side and roll this and then just kind of help this along pressing it down just a tiny bit just so that it'll stay open or rolled I should say. So let's do this one to fix this. Okay. So now, with this one, you really don't need a background because this is going to cover. So there's that. So let's go ahead and glue this down. And then we can put our little music paper window over it. So we'll give it plenty of space, trying to center it. And then we'll put glue around this. Just around the edges.
putting that down. And then we can decorate the bottom. So let's see, I have a few blue tags. I have some, I still have some of this stuff in here. So let's see what we could use. A happy Christmas. This one says best Christmas wishes. No, oh, it blends in too much. I feel like I need something that'll kind of stand out just a little bit more. Let me take out these paper dolls. I got the 25. Okay, that's not gonna work. So let's let's check in here and see what we have. Um, ooh, that would be really cute, but I feel like it's too kitty for the image. I think if we had another image of maybe one of the little kids, the Christmas doll paper dolls, that probably work out better. But in the meantime, I could put that. That's cute. Or this one. This one has the green in it. Let me see. Um, no. I feel like it's too... I don't want to cut it down because I feel like it might... I guess I could. That could be kind of the little... I guess I could cut it down. And then that can be like the little skirt on the bottom. Put it right at the edge. All right, let's try it. Let's put this, even it out. Putting it right at the edge. Okay, there goes the ambulance again. You're gonna hear it in a minute. And then okay yeah that doesn't look too bad let's just ink it just inking the edges so that's it we'll just decorate it a little bit and then it's ready how quick is that So let's put this here. I'm gonna hold on to it so that I can get this down as further down as I can before it starts to, there it is, before it starts to dry. I feel like it's a little wonky. Yep, it's a little wonky. little bit better okay so there's that now we can put like a little greeting or something on the bottom even though it does say a Merry Christmas for you but I do have these I'm just trying to use up my stash I think I have some yeah I have some in green we could put season's greetings. That might be fun. Put this sticker on. Put that here. You can see my stuff is a little off-centered now. But we're gonna make it work. Cute. Let me see if I want anything else on here. I think that's good. Let me just put a little bit of this twine. And I probably don't need that much. But let's just add this in. And there it is, yeah, it's definitely too long. Let me cut this shorter. 
and there we have it. There it is. Isn't that cute? All right, we have time. Let's make another one. Let's do another one. Let's do this one a little bit more kitty so that I could use that that um, that little snow, that little snow, what is it? Snowballs, snow drift, this. I want to use that. That'll be really cute in here. Mm, trying to see which one I think would look better with it. We could do maybe that. Maybe the stripes will look better with this one. So let's do this. And again, we're going to cut it down. Let me move this. Should I pick out my little kid for this? That one's really cute. I was kind of thinking more of a little boy. Oh, he's cute. Do you remember him? I actually had, I cut him apart. He had his little sister with him. So the little hands there. <laughs> but I might, I might be able to just use the top part of him. So we could do that. Let me see if there's another little boy that looks a little bit more bundled up. But no, that's okay. I think we're gonna use him. I just think that that would be cute. So let me get my cutter out again. Cut this down. And then let me mark it at I guess I could use this side. Let me mark it at five and a half. And then we're going to do the corners again. I'm trying to see which way, yeah. I at least want the back to be upright. So we'll do this, pull, punch our little hole in the top. Make sure that you go down far enough so that you have room to put your hole reinforcer. And we'll use this scrap. Let me do two, I'm gonna do one on the back too. We'll use this one. And just go ahead and put that on. I love putting like a little pop-up kind of, I was gonna say 3D. Is that even the right word that I need for this? But you know what I mean? I just like to put um, things that you can actually feel that it's not flat. So that's cute. Okay, let's round the bottom. And then we have our little piece here. So let's make this about here. My pin is not working very well. So let's just cut that this way. And then we'll just cut this in half. Well, not in half, but triangle. Where's my little... Where did I put? Oh, here it is. I couldn't find my little ruler. I love this little ruler. This thing is so handy because it's only six inches and it's metal and it's thin. So for little pieces like this, I don't have to get my big ruler out. Okay, again, I'm gonna get out that sheet 
so that I could go around. And let me go around here. Oh, this one cut all the way through. Darn it. I must, I ripped it. I guess I could still use it. But what I'll do this time, because I have another piece that I could use, but where there's a will, there's a way, man. We can make it work. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Let me get my little boy and then see if there's some type of little background or something that we could use. Just something cute to put on the background. No. I could maybe do this. Put him behind here. That would be really cute actually to put him this way. I'm just trying to see. I'm going to cut him here and then cut off the sides just a little bit. I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and glue him down. Oops, my glue got stuck already. So let me glue him down right where I want him. Right in the center of that bow. I think that would be really cute. Okay, now, if I center him, oh, no, that's not center. Then I can put this down, and then I could work from there. So let's see if I can make this work. Worst case scenario, I just use my other piece. But I want to try and get this to work. Just trying to put around him. Just trying to center it. Using the millisecond that I have to try to fix it. It looks about, that looks about right. Okay, now we can use our little quilling tool Pull it up. Okay, doing this side. I think this is probably the most time consuming, just trying to get the quilling part done but it's still easy I just kind of roll it with my fingers 
after it's already done so like that it kind of gives it more of its shape so technically you don't have to glue the sides down on the other one all I did was glue one side and the rest I left Okay, this one I'm going to leave a little bit further up because that's where my picture stops. And this one too, I'm not going to go all the way to the side. So trial and error, I think it's probably best to do the quilling part before because look, my picture is crooked. <laughs> My little picture is crooked. I was trying to see if I could do it this way, if this would be easier, but no, it's not. But either way, it still looks cute. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's put our little snow drift part down. Do I need to trim this? Actually, I think I'm gonna. all I'm going to do is around these corners and then I'll ink it so yeah definitely after cutting the square that you're going to be using for the quilling part I would recommend gluing it down first no, um, what am I saying? I recommend um, quilling it first before you glue it down. That's what I meant. So let's put this here. And I actually have these little snow, is there a snowflake? Um, What is it called? The, the little scatter. I forgot what it's called. My goodness. But these might be cute to put around. So let's let's just put a dot of glue in the middle. Oh, does it matter what side? No. So let's just put these down. Just put a few of these everywhere. Put that over here. Maybe put a little seine up at the top on the top corner. Over here. So let's put um Let's put let's put partridge in a pear tree. That's cute. I should have put something that had to do with snow or something, but this is cute too. We'll just put this up at the top here. And maybe I'll put one more. Mm. Yeah, I'll put that a little bit further down. So I'll put that down here. And then our little twine. Put that in and we're done. Come on. There it is. You'd think that I'd be able to put that twine in <laughs> with this little thing. But there it is. There you have it. 
Isn't that cute? So we have two. Not bad, huh? They're really fast to make. And these are thinner, but these I did quill before, and then I actually glued them down. So it's an option. So here's these. And then here's these, these bigger ones. So as always, let me know which one is your favorite. So we have the green plaid. We have the poinsettia. We have the green florals. And then we have the blue snowdrift. So let me know, let me know which one is your favorite. And that's it guys, that's it for today. Uh, don't forget we're coming back tomorrow so that I can um, work with our, oh, the, the master board that we made. We're gonna do something with that. So make sure you come back tomorrow and, um, and see what we come up with. And that's it, so thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that jazz. And don't forget all my links are down below and I'll see you guys tomorrow, bye guys.